Hey, my name is Phil from LegitMarketingReviews.com and in today's video, we're gonna be reviewing a translation and transcribing video tool called Vidscripto. Now in this Vidscripto review, what I'm gonna be doing is showing you exactly what Vidscripto does, how to actually use it, and by the end of this video, you should know if it's right for you. Now just to let you know, they are currently launching in a few hours, and I have actually got a lot of free bonuses to actually go with Vidscripto if you decide to get started. If you do, there is some more information in the description. So first of all, what is Vidscripto? Well, Vidscripto is a translation and transcribing tool like I mentioned earlier, but it actually uses AI to help actually lighten the load of doing this process. What this actually does is you can upload any video, whether it's from YouTube, from other platforms that host uh, videos, or you can actually upload a video and what it's going to do is actually transcribe the entire thing with crazy laser accuracy, as well as translate it to one of 30 languages available. So what I'm actually going to do instead of talking about Vidscripto, I'm actually going to jump behind the screen and show you how it works. Okay, here we are behind the screen. Now, first of all, I just want to start off on the Vidscripto page. At the moment, as you can see, we're actually in the pre-launch, so it's not available to get started with for the next 10 and a half hours. However, I have got a exclusive access, but what I want to show you actually is the bonuses that you're going to be getting. If you come to the website that's linked in the description and you come right down, you will see all the information about Vidscripto as well as if you go to the bottom, there is also a bunch of bonus traffic trainings to get you actually up and running with Vidscripto. It's going to give you the best possible chance to get success with it. So make sure you use the link in the description to check out the bonuses and get Vidscripto. Okay, so once you get started, this is what your dashboard is going to look like. This is the early um, JV access. So basically, there's going to be a few different types of campaigns that people have run in here. But what I want to do just before we get stuck into it is actually explain some use cases of Vidscripto that I believe are actually going to do very well. So just for a second, I want you to imagine how many people are on the internet right now, how many people are, say, watching YouTube, and how many people of those people actually speak English. So there is literally millions and millions if not hundreds of millions of people on YouTube. And I think there is about 60% of people that actually speak English, it might even be 50 um, in the entire world, right? So out of those hundreds of million people, only half of them speak English. So there's all these other languages for people that are watching that don't actually understand English. So Vidscripto, what we can actually do is translate popular videos into different languages and generate the traffic from there. I hope that makes sense because once you actually think about uh, how many people are watching these different types of videos, you can understand that there is a huge market for actually generating traffic, views, and all the other good stuff that comes with it. So I want you to keep that in mind because it is a insane market, insane, literally hundreds of millions of views each and every day um, from potential people that you could be captivating and putting content in front of. Um, very, very interesting. Okay, so let's get stuck into it. So once you actually get into Vidscripto, you will see all these different things on the left. First of all is the dashboard, then we've got all the campaigns, we've got the thumbnail creator, video rank engine, uh, your workspace, knowledge base, and my profile. Now just to let you know, there is a lot of different pricing. I'll actually go through that in a second. But basically, if you go through a certain level, you can get the thumbnail creator. Another one's a ranker engine, which actually helps you rank your videos. If you are in the agency space, you can actually have different workspaces for your different clients. And there's also the um, tutorials and knowledge base there. So once you actually wanna get started, let's go to the right and click on create a new campaign. Now for this particular campaign, what you wanna do is um, come up to the top here. Let's just say that we're gonna just try to translate some viral videos that are actually going off right now that are getting lots of uh, interest. So let's just say we're gonna be talking in the, um, let's just say entrepreneur sort of industry, right? A lot of people are trying to break free from the rat race, especially with this whole corona thing going on. So let's look at what sort of videos are actually going viral right now. Now, if you come through this page, you can see this video here has had 10 million views, 209,000 likes, 10,000 dislikes, and 13,000 comments. So that's a very, very popular video. But as you go through, you can see there is oodles and oodles 
of videos that have got ridiculous amounts of engagement, right? So let's just, for this example, um, let's just take this video here, right? This is a pretty cool one. 50 entrepreneurs share priceless advice. No doubt this is going to help someone. What we can actually do is either copy the link here or we can actually just go ahead and use the video. If you wanna copy the link, you need to go then to video link and upload it from there. But let's just go and click on this little tag button, which means use video. Now what it's actually going to do is it's going to take you to this place here and what you want to do is select a workspace. I've already created one called Legit Marketing Reviews. Campaign name, I'm just going to call this Entrepreneur's Advice. Okay. Um, it, the current language is English. That is the one that you want to use and then you want to click on Let's Transcribe. Now this is going to take a little bit of time, not too long, a few minutes. I'm actually going to time it. Here's all the different examples that people have been doing. Um, so what it's gonna do is first of all, download the video to this server, and then it's gonna go ahead and start translating it. So what I'm gonna do, pause this video, time how long it takes, and I'll get back to you in a second. Okay, so we're back. As you can see, two minutes and the video is actually fully transcribed and ready to go. So first of all, it will download, it won't take long, maybe 20 seconds. Then it will actually go through the transcribing phase. Finally, it will come up as transcribed. Now, once it's actually gone green, you'll notice these three little buttons appear. Um, the first one's editing, second one's downloading, and third one gives you a few other options. Oh, op other options, sorry, things like embedding and things like that. So it's very cool. But what we want to do is click on the edit button. Now this is where things get quite interesting. So if you actually play the video, you will notice that it is very precise in what they're saying, um, which is really cool. And if we come down, you've got a few options on the side. So basically what you wanna do on the side is if you wanna translate it to different languages um, on the captions, what we wanna do is click on the language that we wanna choose and then you've got this entire different list. Now I believe there is 30 languages. There's going to be more over time. Um, but let's just say for this example, we wanna choose something like German, right? What it's going to do is it's going to translate all of the captions inside of the page into German, right? So it's a very cool thing, especially if you don't know any other languages like myself. Um, from what I've heard, it's extremely accurate. It probably uses Google's API. Um, so in a matter of moments, this is actually going to be fully translated. I can actually pause it to see how long it will take. And sure enough, as soon as I paused the video, it was done. So um, here it is. It took probably, what, 20 seconds. And now we have got a fully translated into German video. Now, you can actually watch this. I'm not sure um, how much of this you can actually hear. So as you can see, it's still in English at the moment and the subtitles are actually in black. So what we can do is actually go ahead and start modifying this so you can actually start seeing what, um, you can actually start seeing the words. So as you can see, it looks pretty good. If you need to adjust anything as well, it's live. You can adjust it live, which is really cool. Um, you can change the height, the font, um, the alignment, things like that. So it's all very easy to do, right? Very, very easy. But this is just the basic of it, right? This is just the very basic thing. What I absolutely love is actually going down to the bottom here and clicking on voice translation. And what this actually allows you to do is translate it with a voice over as well. So let's come back down, let's choose German, and you actually get an op a couple of options, males or females, all uh, languages have different things um, that are constantly adding new people. But let's just say we wanna use Hans, right we can actually have a preview of the first line of what Hans is going to sound like so as you can see i don't know uh, any german but that sounds pretty cool and the good thing about it too is the ai voice isn't too robotic right so i think this will pass most of the criteria um, when it comes to you know um, passing those sort of boundaries with ai voices so that's very cool so what you can actually do once you've done that is if you're happy with the entire video you've got your subtitles there you've got your german voiceover you can actually change the size of the video right depending on what it's for so if you wanted to have say a square video it's going to add these little background uh these sort of background sort of uh, boxes. You can change the color of the background as well if you want. Um, for this example, I'm just gonna leave it as is. So you can either go from square, you can go story, landscape, right? Um, you can go for the Twitter one as well, apparently, and also Facebook. So it's all there. Um, I'd probably just leave it on original. 
And then you've actually also got a progress bar um, at the top there. You can change the color as well, but it just sort of tells you how far along you are in the video. Um, I think if I fast forward it, you can see here on the top left, you can see it's got like a progress bar there. It's actually pretty good now that I think about it. You probably should use it, um, but let's just say we're happy. Let's just say the whole thing's done what we can actually do is publish the video now just before i hit publish there's a few other things you can do as well you can spin the content so for example um, if you wanted to make it sort of unique you can spin it it's always going to be slightly uh, robotic you'll have to go through and you'd have to adjust a few things especially if you know the language but it's very very good it's very close you've also got a button here save uh, subtitle which you can actually upload to YouTube and you can download it um, here as well and you've got I think a few options SRT which I believe is YouTube's um, most uh, favored sort of file format for uploading subtitles um, which have got the times and everything like that but you can also do text and pdf right so i'm happy with that what i'd mainly do once again is do the subtitles i change the color and then i'll do a voiceover and then i'll probably do a progress bar as well as you know centering and the font colors so i'm going to go ahead and press publish video now this is going to take a few moments as it says here so what i'm going to do once again pause the video and let you know how long it takes Okay, so the video's done. Now, I started this at about seven minutes and it's currently at 10. So that tells me it took about three minutes to render, two to three minutes. So it's all actually good to go. Now, if we hover over it, you'll notice there's actually four little buttons. Now we can actually watch the video. If you wanna watch it live, this is what it looks like. Tun Sie etwas, für das Sie sich sehr begeistern und versuchen Sie nicht. So as you can see, it's in German, it's all working, it's all rendered, very nice. Um, and what we can actually do is we can either download the video and upload it manually, or we can actually come across here to the three buttons and click share campaign. Now, once you do that, it's gonna give you four options where you can actually publish your video. Uh, most people will click on YouTube and then you can upload it from there. Me personally, I'd probably upload it manually. Uh, it just gives me a bit more uh, power when I actually go to upload it. But that's pretty much it. It's super easy to do. You can imagine if you did this for a few languages, let's just say, you wanted to create a brazilian youtube channel based on around one topic or one niche you would absolutely crush it if there's a huge english audience and not much of a brazilian audience as they might not speak english they might only speak portuguese so you could definitely do that right so that's just an example now there's a few other tools that i'm going to go through first of all the thumbnail creator i've played around with this just a little bit i'll show you quickly how it works um, basically what you want to do is click on the creator click on templates and you've got all these different templates you can go and edit it's sort of like a canva type of tool it's very easy to use so let's just say i wanted to use say this one uh, here right it's going to go ahead and open the tool and we can just come through delete what we don't want you've got all your tools at the top um, change what you need to it's all just type and everything's live so it's very easy to do and then once you're actually finished you can save the image and you can download it right so I'm not going to go around this too much it is a easy tool and the good thing about it is everything is kept in-house so you can actually keep all of your files and everything in-house um, I'll quickly go over the other ones you've also got here the video rank engine now to be honest I haven't actually used this much I think uh, what it does is you can put in your channels that you've actually created videos for and it's going to show you what it's ranking out of it or it might be per video I'm not 100% sure but the rank engine is there I haven't explored it yet once again workspaces is for if you have clients um, you've or if you are managing clients or even if you're just managing your own brands as you can see there's a few different brands inside of here and then once again a knowledge base um, has got all your information and everything like that but that's pretty much vid script though so what I want to do quickly is jump behind the screen one more time and just share a few more things Okay, so that was VidScripto Pro. As you've seen, it is a very powerful tool if you use it for the right application. Once again, there is hundreds of millions of users on YouTube and only a small portion are actually getting the information that they need because it's in the wrong language. So if you are that person that wants to take an opportunity while it's there, you can quickly go in, create your, create your own translated and transcribed videos in different languages, and you can actually create your own YouTube channels and get all the rewards that come with it anyway that's vidscripto pro once again if you want to get the bonuses that i've mentioned earlier make sure you use the link in the description it's also going to give you the best possible price but apart from that i hope you've enjoyed this vidscripto video if you have make sure you smash that thumbs up button and make sure you hit that subscribe button for more videos launches and bonuses that's it from me guys i hope you've enjoyed the video i'll see you on the next one